Hey everyone, I wanted to give you a review of the singing course called Singing Simplified that's on Udemy from Steve Glazer. It's one of the more popular singing courses and I, coming into it, have had no formal vocal training really. I've been in, I've sung in groups before and received like group vocal instruction, but never personalized to me and therefore I've never really gotten to, into the nitty gritty and to, into any sort of technique. So I wanted to give you my general take of the course and how what it did for me as well as afterwards I'll kind of jump into what the course is about, what he talks about in the first Singing Simplified course. And lastly, if you stick around, I'll share with you my main critique of the course. Counting the cars on the New Jersey Turnpike, they've all come to look for America. Counting the cars on the New Jersey Turnpike, they've all come to look for America. So overall, I think the course is great. It was very valuable for me coming from someone who doesn't have any experience singing like, you know, vocal training at all. Like I, I've sung and I just like make sound with my, my vocal cords and that was it. But now I kind of understand a lot more about what questions to ask. And I know my weaknesses. I know what I'm doing wrong and what I need to work on. And so it was great because now I can research that I can focus on those things. I think, so if you're at the point where you don't know what you don't know about singing, excellent course. There's a lot of technical things that you know you do as a singer that I didn't really think about. And so being able to focus and hone in on those I think was really valuable. The course also I think really focused in on breath support and that was good for me because I thought that I knew how to do breath support with singing but after a month of practice I realized wow I definitely have a lot more to learn. And I can feel the difference in vocal, my breath support um, just in that a little uh, that small span of time, I learned also kind of my weaknesses that I I still use my my glottis to force those high notes, and that's a really hard habit that I'm working on. But it was great because I wasn't really aware of those problems. I didn't know what I was doing wrong, and so it was it was a great course in that regard. Regard. So overall, thumbs up if you're trying to find a course to get started singing. Um, it's relatively inexpensive. I think it's totally worth it. Go check it out on Udemy and I'll put the links to the course in the description. Now, what's as far as what's in the course, he talks a lot about breathing in the first section and really that's the main focus. And it's like one of those things where you think, I know how to breathe, thank you very much. And that's true, but being able to use your breath to support your singing and your talking, um, it's definitely a skill that can be developed and um, you can feel the difference after you're singing for long periods of time. You're like, okay, I'm using my, my you know, really the, the strength of my body um, to sing rather than just like, you know, just in this section here, which can tire easily. Um, so that first section he talks about breathing. Um, then he talks a lot about vowels and how to make those sounds and go higher and um, to kind of test the limits of what you can sing. And I mean, it seems really basic, but um, as you're as you're going, you learn. Oh wow, I keep my mouth so closed when I sing, and he helps you to realize. Okay, you can open up your mouth, and it makes your sound brighter. It just you project better, um, and so just little things like that, little techniques. So even if you've had some experience singing before, you might pick up some things that you didn't know that you weren't doing or that you were doing that you shouldn't. Um, so that's kind of that section. And um, that's the layout of the course as far as in the, the, main, the main parts of it, you know, breathing, vowels, and um, he talks about consonants. It's a lot and a lot of exercises to put to practice that breath support, those vowels, and using that to improve your range. So by the end of the course, when you get to the point where you're going into the mixed register, you can feel like more confidence as you're singing those higher notes. You're like, oh, okay, I can actually, I can actually get there. And um, so 
it, it, that's kind of the layout and, and um, I thought it was a, a good system as far as like introducing you to um, one from one concept to the next. I thought it was a good progression. Now my critique of the course is that honestly, I, I, he does a great job in trying to make it the exercises seem fun. It's not that fun sometimes. It's hard work. Like you have to, you know, you're singing these vowels and these like scoops like ah, and as cool as that is, you he doesn't really uh, help guide you to use what you're learning into the songs that you want to sing. So if you want to make this course a better experience for you, early on start singing songs. Use those techniques to sing songs because to me that's where the fun is. Like learning singing exercises is was it was important and I felt like it was good for me. But um, I think that I would have had a better time if I had focused on applying what I learned into singing. And so the course doesn't really, um, he doesn't really um, encourage that as much. I mean, he doesn't discourage it. He just doesn't mention it. So I was just like doing the exercises for my whole practice time. And I, by the end of the month, I was feeling a little burnt out because I wasn't getting to have that reward of singing a song. And there, that could be intentional because when you're singing along with music, the tendency is to go crazy and then destroy your voice. And I'm kind of not giving enough credit for that because I learned more of an awareness of my voice and when I was straining it. And that's super important. And when I sing along with music, I, I think I tend to strain. So um, anyway, that's my one critique is that it was kind of felt like a slog sometimes. I, I wasn't feeling like I, I was getting validation for the work that I was putting in. But I think that I could have done better by singing songs that I like along the way. There's other minor critiques um, he does a he does a, an effort to describe the sensation of what you should be feeling but coming from someone who's never had any form of vocal training I felt like there was many times like oh well I which is seeing higher uh, there is some constriction of the vocal cords and I didn't know where the line was as far as what's too tight and what's not tight enough and for the vocal cords like where 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 um, you know that that balance between, I am straining my vocal cords and or I actually need to do this to get to the higher notes. I I didn't really get it, oh, uh, oh, I didn't come away with this course feeling like I understood those 100% and I honestly don't know if anyone could do better because that seems to be very specific to the person and I think a live teacher it might be the only way you can learn that. But other than that, it was a great course. I, I do recommend it and um, if nothing else, it's a great springboard into other courses and to other learning because now you kind of know the questions to ask as far as in your vocal journey. So if you are interested in music and musical instruments, this channel is all about that. I've, I have been studying a different instrument every month for the entire year of 2020. So if you want to learn more about instruments in general, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.